Just uh, we just yeah, back just uh, started right now. Okay. So. It's not showing up. Oh, there you go now. Let's see. Oh, there you go now. Yep. Okay, sound. Okay. All right. You want me to open up? Yeah, you go. Okay, back, time, right. time. All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. And uh, also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And uh, salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, today we're going to get into a lesson about, you know, how we got to go through that, you know, furnace of affliction, all right, to become glorified gods, mm -hmm. all right. You know, can the brother get real quick uh, uh, before honor is humility? All right. So, you know, the brother's about to get that in Proverbs. And, and look, you know, before we get into our glorified state, you know, before we, uh, you know, become, you know, that, that uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the head nation of the, uh, of the whole universe, you know, we, we got to deal with this affliction right now. You know, yeah, this is a... Yeah. No, no, I said we got to go through experience, man. Yeah. So we pretty much getting the uh, left hand side. I mean, that's how you become gods. The gods know, know um, good the evil. good and evil, man. You know, so we went through this, the, the experience, what the left hand side is all about, man. All right. Yep. Yeah. To be them gods, man. I was going to add too in uh, Second yeah. Ezra, the seventh chapter. It says, you know... That basically Israel's portion, their lot, is to go through that, you know, that, that straight gate, all right? You know, basically to go through that path of difficulty, you know? Mm -hmm. We're not here to have a good time. This is not our rest, as, as the book of Micah 2 and 10 says, mm -hmm. all right? And we're here to uh, deal with our punishment, okay? And then also learn from, uh, you know, our mistakes, you know, le you know, learn, you know, through this, you know, punishment, mm -hmm. all right? But, um... Yeah, then we were saying, we were saying too, uh, the brother said it, it makes sense. You know, the Lord's using Satan to put us through his hell, but actually, Satan is actually trying to make you better right, by yeah. going through the affliction, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because Satan works for the most side. He, Satan is a child uh, of, of, the, of the Heavenly Father as well, man. That's right. All right. That's right. So, That's and right. brother said too, we're going to be we gonna be cool with Satan in the kingdom of heaven. And we're going to have the power to seek Satan on Esau and the other heathen nations in the kingdom. That's right. That's right. You know, so that's what we, hey man, we're going to have all that in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. But right now, we just got to go through, uh, a lot now is to go through the affliction, to go through the hell, man. You know, and through the experience, like you said, we're learning to be them gods, man. We all, yeah. all had the scriptures. Now, this Proverbs 15 and 33, it say, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom mm -hmm. before honor is humility. That's right. Before honor is humili uh, humility, which humility goes into the word humiliation, meaning you're going to be basically put down. All right, and you 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 know you're going to be a uh, uh, scoffed at, laughed at, mocked. Okay, people aren't going to take you serious. They're going to look at you as a low life, so on and, and, and so forth, man. Okay, hey, but we got to you know hey, we got to deal with these things. All right, first before we get that honor. All right, Jay, just like your was shot. Um, can I get this real quick mm -hmm. and uh. The book of Romans, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. the uh, Romans 8. Oh, Salaki, I thought you were going to say something. Oh, no, no, go ahead, Salaki, uh, this is uh, Romans 8, all right, and um, I'll start at 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, Yah Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together, okay? Because look, yeah, 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 before Yahweh Shai got that glory, he had to what? Suffer. He had to be abased. Okay, then wait, once he, you know, finished his, you know, lot, all right, hey, what happened? He, he went to the right, you know, he went to the Father and he, he, he got glorified. He's on the right-hand side right now, mm -hmm. okay? And so hey, we got to, you know, deal with the same thing, all right? You know? Mm -hmm. I, got, I got one question. Okay. This is 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. It says, we are fools for Hamashiach's sake. It says, but we are wise in Hamashiach. It's like, it's like it says, ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are uh, honorable, but we are despised. You know? And they uh, brought that out basically to go into a, you know, uh, the humility part, man. All right? Because these people in the world, man, all right, they don't, they don't understand, you know, you know, uh, why we, 
uh, go through certain afflict, you know, it, while we go through certain afflictions and uh, continue to endure, all right, you know, they don't understand why we, uh, you know, uh, certain brothers been in this truth, you know, for uh, decades, man, all right, you know, you got scoffers and scorners, family members, you know, they, they scoff and they scorn, all right, they say, oh, you've been preaching this for the longest, you know, so certain so forth and so on, so forth and so on, all right, you know, uh, but we were made fools for my shot, man, going out on the highways uh, and byways preaching, man, you know, you got scoffers and scorners, they scoff us, mock us, man. You know, all right, but we're living up this standard, all right. You know, we're going through all that humility, all right, and the affliction, all right. You know, on this side, all right, to be uh, glorified with the Lord, you know, as the brother, you know, mentioned mm -hmm. in the scripture. That's right. And at the end of the day, look, we're going to get a prize for all this, you know. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to, uh, as the scriptures say, he's not going to forget our works of, la you know, of, uh, um, what is it, uh, the works of labor of love? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, Hebrews, uh, yeah. I Hebrews. forgot how it's exactly worded, but, I grab for you. you know, the Lord's not going to forget, you know, all these works that we've, you know, done. He's going to remember all the sacrifices that we've done. Hey, because brothers have missed out on great uh, job opportunities. Hey, they could have made, they could have been successful in this world, okay? Hey, they, um, they, hey, they've lost wives, you know, you know, uh, children, okay? Family members. And when I say, when I mean by lose, I'm talking about you don't have a connection with them anymore, right. okay? You lost friends. Yeah, friends, yep. Hey, a lot of people lost their reputation. Because hey, some brothers, they, they might have had a, a, a good reputation in this world, all right? You know, their name was, you know, a high in this world, mm -hmm. you know? Some brothers, football players, they ain't yeah. doing that no more. Exactly, man. You know, hey, because hey. um, going back, hey, what, uh, what, uh, oh, no, what did um, Peter, um, what did um, uh, Peter ask you, uh, your house shot? He said, we've forsaken all. What should we get um, um, in, in return? return? Mm -hmm. He said, um, those who lost wives, you know, uh, uh, lands, lands and stuff. I, I forget exactly how it go, but yeah. said you should, the reward going, you're going to get all that back and, and double, man. Just going back to Job, man. He yeah. lost everything. He lost, his wife came up against him. He, his children, he lost his um, riches, <laughs> you know. Lost the children. children. His children. They died. They died. You know, the Lord put them through all kinds of hell. And then at the end of all that, after he went through it, the Lord blessed them double what he had before, man. Right. So the Lord had these, these these scriptures written. For example, this Pope be for your, these scriptures, Pope be your, the comfort, the Pope mm -hmm. to comfort you, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I got the precepts. Oh, God, go ahead, brother. It's Matthew chapter 19, verse uh, 27. It says, Then Peter, it's like it didn't yep. answer Peter. And said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shah said unto him, It's like he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, That ye which have followed me in a regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne. Yeah, of which had that proved reincarnation said in right. regeneration. Because they ain't get in, in their lifetime. They had to come back. Yeah. All right. All right, go ahead. It says, When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Man, he he also oh, shall sit upon the twelve tribes, judging. It's like he shall also. He also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. That's it. Mm -hmm. It says, and every one that have forsaken houses, or brother, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? life. Right. And what can? Hey, what's better than everlasting life? You no know, living forever. In <laughs> righteousness. That's right. Oh, I you got it. You got it. Yeah, this um John chapter sixteen verse thirty three. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world, and that's why we're able to um, you know um have a sense of hope because we know that Yahweh is coming back, man. Right. And Yahweh already overcame death. And he overcame the world. Mm -hmm. And then we we following in Yahweh Shah. You know, so he gave us the Holy Spirit. He gave us our heritage. He gave us wisdom and knowledge. He gave us all the utensils we need, you know, to survive this thing, man, to overcome. Right? right? So now we're utilizing it so Yahweh Shah can give us salvation when he come back, man. But in the world, the, the Lord said in the world, we're going to have tribulation. But in the Lord, in, in Yahweh Shah, we're going to have peace, man. That's right. That's right. I got a, a precept to back you up. This is Isaiah chapter 48, verse 10, and it reads, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of, affli in affli I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. 
You see, we're, we're meant to go through this. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, hey, I chose you guys, you know, this particular group, you know, to go through that fire, man. Hey, they, they, they deal with all sorts of trials and tribulations, man, you know. And as Acts 14 and 22 it says, hey, before we get into the kingdom of heaven, we, we're going to enter into a, a much trials and tribulations, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, they, they, going back to that second Ezra, you know, mm -hmm. the seventh chapter, this is Israel, Israel's lot, this is Israel's portion. Okay, so we're, we're going to be going through it. And as it says here, real quick, let me get this one too as well. This is Sirach 2 and 5. It says here, For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So you got to go through it, all right? Acceptable men are going to go through these things, all right? See, we were joking about it, you know, right before we started. Remember Murph's... Um, that one lesson with the uh, Burger King, it was it Burger King prophets tap out early? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, they tapped out early, man. Hey, these, a lot of these cats, they tap out early. But see, a man of the Lord, they're just gonna go through it, man, and just keep pushing and pushing. That's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. Yes, and hey, and those men that that keep that keep pushing and enduring to the end, they're gonna get glorified. Mm -hmm. They're hey, they they're, they're gonna change, man. What does it say in that First Corinthians? Hey, you, you shall be changed, all right, in the twinkling of the eye. Out of nowhere, hey, the, the elect is just going to change. They're going to get those new bodies, okay? Hey, they're going to be purified. They're going to have the laws I in their mind, mm -hmm. okay? And they're just, they, they're going to come back as gods, man. They're going to be like Yahweh Shai. What did Yahweh Shai say? I'm not going to meet you as a man. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to be just like Yahweh Shai. We're going to be in this godlike state soon, man. That's it. All right, but first, we got to deal with all this, uh, this affliction, all this BS, so to speak, you know? Hey, it is what it is, and this is really our punishment. But what's crazy is, can I get Salah Yakim? Can I get this one real oh, no, quick no, in the yeah, book yeah. of uh, Ezra? I believe is um, I think, I think it's like nine and thirteen. Yeah, and this is um, is our punishment. You go deeper. The Lord training us to be gods. You know? So we, like I said, we're getting the experience. Cause hey, remember what uh, um um, you know uh, Eve listened to. The serpent, which was a man, it wasn't no damn snake. All right, then she brought that false philosophy to Adam. He ended up going off, you know. But after they got their judgment, the serpent, um, Eve, Eve and Adam, after they got the, the judgment, the Lord gave them. What did the uh, angel said? They become like us, knowing good and evil. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know. So that, that's what you know. So, like I said, we, Lord, we going through this. This is uh, this is training ground, right, pretty much, right. too. Train us to be them gods, man. You know, and we're gonna be able to judge the nation. They gonna still be in the flesh, and we're gonna judge them righteously. We are gonna know when to have mercy, yeah. and all, because we been we we been there. Yeah. Right. We knew we knew we experienced yeah. what it's like to be in this flesh. That's right. There's times where you made an honest mistake, so to speak. Yeah. You know, and you need that mercy. But then there's times where. Hey, you got to get that judgment. Yeah. You know? But uh, I got these two precepts real quick. This is uh, Ezra 9 and 13. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds, all right, meaning the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, our power, has punished us less, so we're still getting punished less, all right, than our iniquities deserve, and has given us such deliverance as this, Okay. So the main point is, hey, the Lord has punished us less, all right, than our iniquities deserve. And it says here in Romans uh, 8 and 18, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, all right? So this suffering that we're going through, it's a light affliction, as the scriptures say in 2 Corinthians, man. Mm -hmm. this, is no, this is still a light affliction. We could can, we can be going through way, way worse, man. Right. Okay? And, and these afflictions... Look, they're not compared to what's coming, man, you know, for us. Hey, the, hey, man, we, we, some of the things that the Lord, you know, has, you know, a, a plan for us, we can't even fathom it in our mind, man. Mm -hmm. All right? We can't even imagine it. You know, we, we're just going to have to be there and experience it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things coming for us. A lot of things, man. Mm -hmm. So, hey, they, this, uh, this suffering, it, it, it's worth it, man. Come it's on. worth to get that big prize in the end, man. Get the right. hey, we, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I always say, man, hey... We, we take all these small L's, because that's what they really are. Even if they seem major at that, you know, present time, man, all right? It may seem like a lot, but hey, they're all small L's at the, end of the, at the end of the day. 
to, to, and then ultimately we're gonna get what that big W, man. Yeah, and Lord ain't forget yourself. He ain't, he ain't forget you went went out on this side. He might not have brothers. You got brothers in the truth. They don't have a woman. The, the Lord ain't forget about that, man. You're gonna, you're gonna bless you, man. And I got this real quick. This is uh, Hebrews um, six and nine. It says, "But beloved, we are everything good." Yeah, yeah. I was just double checking. Okay. Double -checking. It says, "But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you, and things that accompany salvation, though we must, though we thus speak." For the most high, mm -hmm. Yahweh is not is not unrighteous mm -hmm. to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So Lord ain't unrighteous to reward you, you know. All right. It, it ain't like dealing with Esau Edom, man. The Lord <laughs> sticks to his word, man. You 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 Esau tell you, uh, if you do this, I do this. And you do it, and then he saw Renee on the deal. Mm -hmm. The Lord is not like that, man. That's right. All right, the Lord, if you um, serve him to the best of your ability, he's going to give you a war for that, man. That's right. All right, he's, he's not unrighteous to forget that, man. Men is unrighteous. Esau's yeah. unrighteous, man. Uh -huh. All right, so you, your best bet is to trust in how about Shimmy Alshad? Why, you, the strip said, never trust thy enemy, man. For his iron rust so is wickedness. You got a lot of our people. Gonna trust this devil when it's evident that he's just that the devil. Mm -hmm. He got it. You see his track record don't look good at all, but you still put your trust in this motherfucker, man. So guess what? Who a pity charm has been by a serpent, man? Uh -huh. Alright. When he stab you in the back again, which he gonna do. He been doing it since day one. You know? Ain't nobody gonna pity you, man, cause we telling you to watch out to be on guard with this dude, man. Mm -hmm. Alright? But that was it on that, y'all had something. This on Philippians chapter 2, this Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. It said, But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. Yeah, yeah, so the things that you gain in this world, hey man, it, it, we're going to forget about it. Who cares? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And then the scripts say that this world is temporary, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Right. But the kingdom of heaven will be eternal, that the scripts say, man. Kind of, I say, um, the former thing, um, is passed away. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Hey, the, the fashion I mean, of this. Just like it. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. Saying. The fashion, fashion of this, this world, world by, by, away. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. So, hey, the Lord may give you a, a goodie here and there. It may give you a car. Mm -hmm. Hey, may give you a chick to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It may, whatever, little perks. You know, brothers get little perks in this world. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like, hey, we get it. And then if it goes away, so what, man? Whatever. Yeah, because you uh, ain't taking that shit with you right. anyway. That's right. That's you ain't even taking these bodies with you. That's right. Exactly. Facts. That's right. You know? Come on. That's why the spirit now is to detach from everything. Yeah, and, and I've been saying this for a while. Look, man, the Lord is going to force the elect to completely detach from a Babylon Esau of this world, man. The Lord is going to sever the elect completely, man. He's going to sever them from this world, and he's going to force them. And, allow, and they're not only just forced, but allow them to attach onto him. Come you know? On. Mm, that's why we go. That's why you go through the hell. You go through, man. Yeah. It, it keeps you on edge. It keeps you not like hating this place, man. Right. Yeah. Come. To, to ultimately be what his people. Yeah. yeah Zechariah uh, thirteen and, and uh, I think it's the tenth verse. You know, because I think the ninth verse goes into the, you know the two thirds, but the, the oh, tenth yeah. verse goes into the one third, and they what does it say? Uh, uh, they shall call upon my name. Yeah. All right, and they shall be my people. Not uh, uh, you know. Mm hmm. Um, that's it. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. Yeah. All right. That's good. Guess what? Two thirds. I still know people to to how about Shimmy Al Shai, till they come back through whoever the elect is, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. You yeah. Know. Can you start that uh, again this, from the top? Um, this Philippians three and seven. It say, but what things were gained to me, those I can't have lost for how much mm -hmm. Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency. Of the knowledge of how Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but done, right. that I may win Hamashiach. That's it. All right. Right. So yeah, all these things is um is nothing compared to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai got um way greater things prepared for us that we can't even imagine. You know, so the things we lose on this side, the things we sacrifice on this side. It's, it's, it's nothing. Right. You know, because these things not even go um, last forever anyway. 
Come on. That's right. The yeah. things y'all y'all watch me on got for us gonna be for eternity. That's right. Right. And that's what it's like I was gonna say real quick. It's like that, that's why these scriptures are comfort, man. You know, that's why scriptures tell us to store up our treasures in heaven, man. You mm-hmm. know, and not on this earth, man. You know, because like scripture says, where your heart is, there will your treasure be also, man. Mm-hmm. So we like the brother. All these things, like the brother was saying, all these things we got here. You know, the brother might bless with a car, or a woman, or you know, a decent paying job. You know, some brothers, you know, got they, you know, got got you know abundance, you know, so to speak. You know, on this side. But you know, the point is, man. You know, all these all these things are temporal, all right, mm-hmm. and all these things are gonna, uh, you know, uh, pass away right along with this place, man. Yeah, all right? days come and go. Mm-hmm. They come yeah. and go. That's right. Party. You know. But what's eternal is uh, is righteousness, man. All right, and, and our works are gonna forever follow us. So we gotta, yeah. you know, build up our, our you know our, our, our treasures in heaven, man. You know, okay. yeah. mark the rough and don't corrupt. That scripture said. Okay. I got something to back up what you said. This is uh, John fourteen. I'm gonna start at two main points in three. Um, yeah, this is uh, John fourteen and two. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, so that the Lord's doing that right now. Mm-hmm. He's, he's he's getting everything set up for us, and we're about to you know we're about to go to that that, that place, man. Where all good things dwell, man. Roughly paraphrasing it it's in that Second Ezra, and if I go and prepare a place for you, and I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. All right, so. Yeah, we're just waiting on the Lord, man. He, he's got stuff, you know, uh, uh, you know, in store for us, okay? All right? And this place is it's about to be destroyed, man. Right. You know, the place that's coming is going to be, it's going to be eternal. Because look, it, see, these ages, all right, they have a, um, a an expiration date, all right? Yeah. All these great kingdoms. Mm-hmm. But see, the kingdom that's to come is going to be an everlasting kingdom. That's right. All right, that's spoken about, I think, in Daniel, the second chapter. It speaks about that, and that's the kingdom of uh, uh, of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, the kingdom of Israel. That's what's coming. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, you, we we see it right now. Look at this world. Look at it. it it's it's just done. The America is just not how it used to be. You keep man. Let's just say, like hypothetically speaking, you try to chase the American dream. Well, you're gonna have to work f- like not even exaggerating, 50, 60 hours, all right, just to make it by to barely get a you know a small house, all right. 40 you know, years, 40, yeah, 50. <laughs> you, you got all this debt. Then you got to worry about, you know, if the, that woman's going to, you know, uh, divorce you, whatever, cheat on you, take the kids, Word. whatever. Right. You got to worry about that. Then you still got to, you know, hey, you may just be cruising. Next thing you know, an eat of my cop pulls you over. Then you're worried about your life. Like, man, am I going to die today? You know, over a simple traffic stop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, did, did, do you want to live in this place? Like, that, that's crazy. And then look, just like we always talk about it. The decline of just Chicago. Downtown in downtown looks like a complete ghetto now in Chicago. Literally, there's maybe a few sections that are nice, but downtown literally looks like a ghetto now, man. Mm-hmm. It looks like the south side or west side of Chicago. Not even exaggerating, yeah. man. Yeah. Places right. boarded up and shit. Retail space, huh. buildings, like I said, uh, all dingy and shit now, man. Yeah. You know, so this place I mean, is done. The place done, yeah. Matter of fact, the way we live, man, like, look, house to house. Oh, it looks like we all we always talk about that. Yeah, we like, hey, we, it's not even house to house anymore. We live a uh, 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 store. What is it? Floor to floor, floor man. To floor. Unit to unit. Now it's not even. You don't even have a, a house anymore. You have a part of a house now. That's it. That then you and people want to live like this. This is this is not a way of living. This is this is really a true death style. But see, the Lord, going back to what you're saying, He wanted us to go through this. So we can get the understanding, like, this is not the way to live. This is not how life is supposed to be. Yeah, he just, he, he, he's showing us, um, you do anything outside of what I told you to do, it's going to be death to hell, man. Yeah. My way is better. This is what he's showing us. His way is fucking better. This way is better, man. Mm-hmm. He's showing us, he's showing us that. Because saw he don't follow the ways of the Lord. Look at the results, how this kingdom is, man. Yeah. Based off them just... Putting away what the Lord said and doing their own fucking thing, man. You can't keep the Sabbath here. You can't keep yeah. the land Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing at rest. The pollution and shit. Yeah. Fucking up the trees. The fucking um. You don't even see like flowers and bees and shit no, like yeah. that no more. It's gone. Butterfly. Even even when you talk about the pollution, because uh, we uh, the last time um. So there's a brother that lives in the suburbs and he's kind of far out of the city, right? And we we were talking about how the more you get away from the city. 
the more your body actually feels, you know, uh, it feels better. You feel more refreshed. You feel cleansed. You know, you feel rejuvenated once you get out of the city. You know, he's, you know, maybe like a 45 minutes away or so. And I, we were talking about, I said, hey, you go even another, let's just say an hour away from the city. Because my, uh, my parents, they have a, um, basically like a, a, they got some property on a campground, right? And that's like basically straight, you know, like it's pretty much forest out there. Now, of course, you know, there's little things, you know, little cabins and shit like that. But point being, though, is when I go out there for like, you know, two days, three days, I feel great, man. I feel great. But the second you go back into the city, man, there's so much car pollution. You got all this Wi-Fi and all that stuff, this 5G. That's really messing us up. We don't even really realize it, but that stuff is it, it's messing with us, man. Yeah. That, that That's like slowly, you know, uh, that's hurting your insides, man. All yeah. right, affecting, you know, your brain. Yeah, yeah, that's why I notice, right. you know, bro, you know people, a lot of people have a hard time sleeping at night. That's, that's why, because the damn Wi-Fi, the radiation. Yeah. Know, all right. You know, and that's a, the reason why you don't see the bees and stuff no more, man. That shit fucked them up, man. Having all this damn radiation oh, yeah. around, man. That's actually causing a lot of birds to uh, drop out the sky, it, too. Yeah. That was going to... It's crazy. See, you see, mentioned you see how crazy. Esau Way is death? Yep. Uh. Hey, you know what's so crazy? I don't know if you brothers saw this video, but you actually now have, like, birds and animals attacking the 5G yep. towers. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're yeah. literally... Uh. Oh, they're they're trying to you know rip the wires. They're doing that you know trying to do it, you know anything and everything as a team to to eliminate that thing because it's literally hurting them. And they yep. and see animals they have a they have a you know a, a different senses you know that's heightened right you know they you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. you know animals they can hear things you know more than humans they can you know uh, smell things etc cetera, etc cetera, right so they they really know that's doing damage. See we don't really notice it because you know the Lord didn't give us those you know uh, senses you know that high. But hey man. Those animals know that that shit is killing them, and that's why they're trying to rip it apart, man. Yeah, because script, I, I believe in Joe, it says, pay attention to oh, the, yeah. the animals and so on. You know, pay attention to animals, man, you know. Yeah, they, they shall teach thee. Yeah, should, yeah, the animals should teach thee, man. So the animals, t- that should t- let you know, that should let you know if you really pay attention, that that shit is death, man. And that's, you ain't supposed to have that shit around, man. All right, I had some. Um, you, you said some. I can't even be. I was just holding this. This is um, Isaiah forty five seventeen. This all. This also proof. Huh? Can I get that for you? Oh, kind of. Salaki, I found it. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Job chapter twelve verse seven. It says, "But ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee; mm-hmm. the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee; or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee." So the, f- the example of the birds attacking that five G tower. That shit, that, they telling you right there, that shit is no good, man. Yep. And it says, or speak to the earth and it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea, sea shall declare unto thee. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to back up with, you know, you know, uh, the elder, man, you know, and quoted the precept, man. They, they, watch, watch nature. Nature tells you, you know, how things should be, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah, you got See, you, you, you got this guy. Yeah. And he'll tell you, oh, yeah. You know, guy on guy is good, man. Girl on girl is good. You know, mm-hmm. you know they, they. Oh, you know what? If you don't feel like you're a man, and you think you're a woman, that's a good thing. You know, just do it. Yeah, yeah, just do it. Just feel the lust of your flesh. Do it. Do as thou will, man. Hey, I'll, oh, because he's really saying the Lord's wrong. He's right. right. Yeah, this is this, this dude is sick, man. What a sick. He's trying to he's trying yeah. to put that spirit out there that the Lord don't understand you and yeah, because that's how Jake is. Jake Jake think like. Well, well, the Lord don't understand because he 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 wasn't put in the position as humans was put in because he's so glory and almighty. Why do you think Yahweh Shai was brought down here, bro? Yahweh Shai was brought down here to to show us uh, um, that you you can be perfect in the flesh, man. You know, not as the not to the extent of Yahweh Shai, but to strive for that perfection right. of Yahweh Shai, yeah. man. You people just you just demons, man. <laughs> that's why the Lord. That's why the Lord gonna allow this devil to go so far with e- wicked evil plan, e- wicked evil plans to punish you wicked ass fuckers, uh-huh. man. Yeah. All right, that's just, just that simple. Oh, that's another thing too. I'm glad you said that, mm-hmm. Lord, because you know you gotta understand, and this is Lord willing as well. Lord willing, be part of that number. These plagues is for these these wicked niggas, man. Yeah. yeah. All of the stuff that the Lord about to send is tribulation, cause it, it comes to a point in time where we know we at the end is getting closer and closer. Sometimes that flesh kick in and it gets scary, bro. 
it gets scary because reality really hit. This shit about to be real, you know? But um, this is for these wicked people, bro. Yeah. It's, this is for the harden us and to try us to perfect us, man. Mm -hmm. So why would the Lord have us get overtaken by that, you know? Mm -hmm. Unless something not right about your spirit. And if that's the case, then you got to examine yourself, man. Yeah. But, the, but the stuff that the Lord about to send, that's to make us better. That's to purify us, man. All right? So we can prove ourselves worthy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But for the rest of these people, that's for their destruction. That's why I say in Second Edges of the ninth chapter, don't worry about how the ungodly shall perish, man. That's it. But but worry about how the righteous shall be saved. God, if we we Lord one we part in number. Lord's gonna get us through all that anyway. Come, yeah. come. You know. Yep. Yeah. Uh, some. God, this um, First John four and one. It say so like in First John three and one. It say mm -hmm. behold. What manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not, mm. but love. Now are we the sons of the Most High, and, if, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, Ooh. for we shall Ooh. see him as he is. That's right. Um, all right, and hey, once he appears, hey, we're gonna be just like him. All right, and that goes back into that whole um that scripture that I brought. Uh, you know, I kind of quoted it in that uh First Corinthians, I think fifteen. How we're gonna be changed oh, in yeah. the twinkling of an eye, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, we, well, it once. Can you get a uh, wisdom of Psalm in um was it eighteen? Get eighteen and um I think the seventh verse. Real quick, because look, as this destruction comes, right. There's going to be what? Salvation. Yeah. I believe it's 18 and 7, if you can get that. Uh, um, what does it say? You got it? Say, uh, yeah, it say, uh, so of thy people was accepted. Well, well, what does it say above it, Doc? Can you read one more verse uh, above it? Verse 6, it says, of that night were our fathers served. So, like, you read 7 and then 8. So, like, it's those two uh, verses. It says, so of, oh, so, like, this wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 7. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous yep. and destruction of the enemies. That's right. So the so uh, the righteous, all right, that 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 they elect, all right, they're gonna be saved, all right, and then those two thirds are gonna be destroyed, all right. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. You know, keep going. It says verse eight: For wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, yep. by the same thou didst glorify us. Exactly. So while our enemies are gonna be punished. We're gonna get glorified, mm -hmm. and can you get that uh that first uh Corinthians fifteen now with the uh, how we're gonna be changed? Mm -hmm. So while these people who are you know they're, they're they're gonna get the four swords judgments that's you know that's written about all all the man the plagues that are in the scriptures that are not in the scriptures mm -hmm. they're gonna be you know dealing with that and all that that ultimate plague which we always talk about is what the missiles mm -hmm. all right they're gonna deal with they're gonna deal with that all right and as they're dealing with that. We're going to be translated like Enoch, okay? We're going to be translated because the Lord they doesn't want us to be, uh, you know, tainted. We're going to be translated through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem shine. As we're getting translated, we're going to be changed, all right? And then that's when that first John comes into place. Because the reason why these people go um, get these plagues brought upon them because they of their wickedness. Yeah. Because like we talked about earlier, the Lord said, um, seek life or death. Follow my ways and you have peace, or follow the ways of this world, you go get death. So, right. so the, the wickedness that that's about to, I mean, the place is about to be brought upon these people is because they did it to themselves. That's yeah, right. yeah, because they ain't, yeah, Lord stretched out his hand and keep slapping it, you keep slapping it, man. So, and the scripture tells you, it's a rock. Scripture says, I have given you a straight commandment, you know, of what you shall do to, you know, avoid punishment, man. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? You know, so the Lord already gave us the blueprint, man. All right, you know. He, he, he told us hey, hey, what to do, all right, what not to do, you know. But, hey, hey, you people, man, you choose wickedness, man. So, hey, the Lord is going to give you your reward, man. Yeah, man. The Lord already told you. See, he, he has, the Lord has um, 613 laws, statute commandments, man. He told you what you, you do these, this wickedness is a, is a punishment for that. So, you want to do do the do the wicked shit, Lord. Lord, give you what you want, but it's a consequence. Deal with the consequence that come with it, man. Um, you know, that's right. and that's what you people about to deal with the consequences 
that come with your wickedness, man. That's right. Can you, uh, Yaakov, you got that first yeah. Corinthians Bible, Kusha. Can you get that? This is, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It started at verse 52. Yeah, wow, again. <laughs> it's, it's like, I'm sorry, verse 51. Listen. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. Yeah, and this is a mystery. This is not given to everybody. All right, the voice is saying that. I think it says, is it Mark or Matthew? I think it's actually in both, where it says, uh, the Lord said, a, a, you know, basically, they talk about why do you speak as the, oh, um, the disciples as why do you speak as oh, thou parable, unto yeah. them in parables. And he says, because, you know, it's given unto you to mm -hmm. know the mysteries of the Most High, but unto them it is not given. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not, not so lucky. What, what you saying? Oh, it's not fair, bitch. Oh, no, good. no it's, it's, the Lord said, he he does, you know, uh, would say, um, so lucky. How should I say? I pray for them. I pray not for the world. That world he's talking about, because you got many different worlds. Mm -hmm. But that world he's talking about is the world of Israel, man. He's not dealing with all Israel. He's definitely not dealing with the other heathen nations. Mm -hmm. But he's not even dealing with all of Israel right now, man. So, you know, what scripture says his sheep hear his voice. The ones who's the Lord's sheep, they're only going to be the ones to hear the voice, man. Yep. All right. It's that simple, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be all it's like but we shall all be changed. That's right, we're all gonna be changed. You know, first it starts off with the elect though, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, because the elect they you know, they're the Lord's people right now. We said that the two thirds aren't even the Lord's people. But eventually, as I think in the book of Romans it says that all Israel shall be saved. It is in Romans, yeah. All yeah, yeah so you say all Israel gonna be saved because you know, had the elect, the Lord gonna be they gonna be saved. And it's uh, what they call it, second death. Yeah, yeah. second death. Yeah, they're going to have the 144,000 one third, and the two thirds are going to come back through that elect number. That's how they're going to be saved. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's right. Keep, keep reading now. It says, verse 52, it says, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. So, in a moment, the second, hey, once we start getting beamed up, all right, in a twinkling of an eye, keep reading. It says, at the last trump. Yeah, all right. Hey, that, that, that final destruction, that last kingdom, which, hey, you know, before the, the, you know, the everlasting kingdom, which that's the kingdom of Esau. That's why it says, uh, uh, Jake or, um, uh, um, Esau is the end of the world. Of, yeah, Salaki. That, that, uh, Second Ezra 6 and 9, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob yeah. it follows, the, the, you know, thereof. Yeah, the beginning that follows thereof. Yep, yeah. the beginning of, 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 of it, you know. All right, thereof. Okay, keep reading. It says, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, but the trumpet shall sound, and the mm -hmm. dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Yep, keep going. But this corruptible must put on incorruption. Yeah, and we're about to put on that incorruption, okay? The Lord's going to allow this to happen very soon. Keep going. And this mortal must put on immortality. Yep, keep going. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Exactly. Hey, death is going to be swallowed up, man. All right? You know, you know we're not going to be sinning anymore. Mm -hmm. All right? And then also, hey, you know, even Esau, man, because he's as death. Hey, man, we're, we're, hey, man, we're going to get the victory over all this, man. Through, through Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, man. All right? Is there any more to that? Nah, that's it. But yeah, but point, the main point is that we're going to be changed, man. All right, and with that, you know, with that change is going to come what? That that uh, that uh Jeremiah 33 is going to come to pass, right? We're going to get the laws put in us, okay? And that means we're not going to sin anymore, so that means there's going to be no more death. Mm -hmm. And that means that we're what? We're going to be gods, because gods are what? Immortal. That's it. All right? They're immortal. They, they, they know uh, good and evil. That's but, it. And like I said, the laws going to be, the law of statute commandments going to be written in us, so we're not going to go off again, which... That proves right there the kingdom of heaven is going to be an everlasting kingdom, man. Because the reason why we're in this predicament right now is because we went off against the power. So once the Lord writes the law of statute commandments in us, he changes from these chains of darkness we're currently in, you know, and we keep the law of statute commandments perfectly, you know, there'll be no reason for us to go into captivity no more because we're going to be no point now. Yeah, um, that's right. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers 
in that day that I had took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. Okay, after uh, oh, that, that last trump, all right? You know, the Esau's kingdom. It says here, um, where was I? Um, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. Yep. So meaning that it's going to be first nature. It's just going to be in you to do righteousness. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be, you know, thinking about wickedness anymore. You're just going to be a doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so you're going right? to deliver from change darkness with his flesh. Because his flesh love doing things contrary yeah. to what's right, man. And remember that, how I reposted that video we did. The flesh hate adversity, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Yep. And then, um... What was that? Uh, they were parts and write it in their hearts, and, and it says, and will be there. I'm gonna read that again. I will put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, meaning their minds, and will be their power. Okay, well, hey, the Lord's gonna hey, accept us again, and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. All right, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they shall all know me. Yes, from the, all the Israel gonna be on point and keep the the law is gonna be written in them. Even the two thirds, they are gonna be on point in kingdom heaven, man. That's right. So, how See, you gonna teach somebody that know already, man? Right. Yep. For they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Mm -hmm. You know. That's it. So that's what's coming. That's what's coming. That's it. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Lord Willis, lesson was edifying. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shad, Yahweh, Shad, All right, double answer, Apostle. That was a great millstone. Peace, salutation to you. Since I can push in his words, sincerity, truth, and charity. With that, say Shalom. 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 Shalom.